Righty ho. Floor is in. That section at the back was in that you'll see in the last video. This part is now in, and then I've just got this piece to cut. Now this seems like a long-winded way of doing things, but there is method in my madness. What I will then do is I will strap, once this piece is cut, and I will not this actual piece, a piece to go in this hole here at the back, but that's just, that's just covering it up. Um, so I'm going to cut a piece to go in there. Once those all fit nicely together, I'll space them all out as far as they go, and then I'll put a strap of wood across there, and nail, uh, screw, 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 all the way up through. Same along here. Then I'll lift the whole thing out, Take it outside and use it as a template to cut one perfect piece that fits in here without any movements whatsoever. Um, but this is sacrificial, basically. It was free, so I'm not worried. I've got to put in a hole somewhere, I guess, about here, because the shower tray will sort of be here, and then the shower tray hole, that one there, that's the bottom, by the way, <laughs> Well, it's got to go down through there into the waste. I've also got to cut a toilet a hole for the waste on the toilet, which will then drop down into the black water tank. Um, so that's basically where we are with that. Right, now, here's the... Gut. So I'm ever so sorry about the lighting. Let me readjust some lighting here. I have today... Right, now, see if you can see... Um, it's, it's What time is it? It's got to be... Uh, like, half past 11 at night, so... I've tied in to this, well I will tie these in to these two um, so that I've got a 12 volt supply. That comes up underneath these boards through here, through here, to here. I don't know what you guys will call them but I'm trying to get a better light. Right, so they'll come through to this chocker block. Now from there I've run five. One will go down here and through there and we'll sit above the shower, directly in the centre of the shower. And then basically there's four more and you don't need me to trace them all around for you. Um, so they will sit on the ceiling, they'll be sort of, they'll be evenly spaced, it's sort of one here, one here, one here and you know, one of blah, 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 blah. And then I've also got some of these lights, which I use them actually for model making, but I'm going to use them in the bathroom. I might, because the shower tray will sit up off the floor on a, on a small plinth, I might conceal a line of them around just underneath the lip of the shower tray there so that they cast the light and un you won't see them but you'll see them cast the light down onto like the front of the, the plinth and the shower but that's basically where we are good day good day i can now insulate this seat. well no i can't actually what i've got to do is take this out i'm going to um cap it on the top on the outside and with uh, with uh and then put some fiberglass over the top to completely seal that. Um, it's ridiculously, if I bring you over here, you can see how far out from the wall it is. Absolutely ludicrous. So I am going to bring it in about here and I'm going to run one and a quarter inch pipe, which is considerably smaller and is the British standard. I'll then bring that directly down the wall, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, and I'll cut into the tank a new hole so um there are reasons for this the original pipe came as you saw down here and like in the middle and it was concealed in a little wall that ran the, from ceiling to floor uh, that's no longer a feasibility so i'm gonna have a separate vent uh for the gr although i don't really know why they put a vent on a gray water tank it is only a gray water tank then over here which you saw in a previous video there is a, um, that's your waste water, which will go back in. Um, and I'll need to then sort out from where the vanity unit will be here, the sink on that. That'll have to be plumbed and I'll go down the back probably. And then underneath the floor, between basically this boarding 
and the tin sheet I'll come underneath um, and into that pipe that way uh, probably mostly in flexi hose or something like this sort of thing you know um, I think that's possibly the best way to do it um, instead of trying to tie it all into one govins and then I mean it came down like this and then diagonally down oh it was shocking so uh, yeah so we anyway made some great progress today it's been hard work though is it uh, hey ho there you go more soon Okay, all the wires are run for the 12 volt spotlights, um, you can see them here, 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 it's a bit of a mess. The strings are for the insulation which will be up. These two straps have now been glued in place, now what I'll be using these for is when the, I'll just take you around here, when the ceiling there that's cut, that's the skylight hole etc. When that goes up, sorry about the camera, um, that will be glued with aquatic glue to these and then propped from underneath while it dries. Well, that's the plan anyway. So I've just now got to insulate these two here and we're ready basically to install the ceiling, which will happen today. Okay, more soon. Okay, lights are in. The quality of the picture is awful. And I apologise for that, but these are 12 volt down lighters running off a 9 volt battery, which isn't helping. It's the only light source I have in the vehicle at the moment. So, I'm hoping they'll be a little bit brighter when it's all um, in place. This ceiling obviously needs to clean now that the ceiling is in place, finally, in the bathroom. Um, I'm not sure if you can see this, but that is what the walls will be done in, and they kind of colour a little bit, it's a bit exuberant I know, probably look like a tarts window box but or pimp's boudoir but it is getting there now that the ceiling and the lights are in place that's done I can now get this wall back in here insulated get all that back in I'm going over to European domestic 15 mil piping flexi piping through because it's a domestic suite um, toilets down there now the water box, uh, the water tank, sorry, will sit obviously the other way around along here. I'm going to cut this vanity unit out at the back to actually slot over the top of it. And then my shower will be going here. I've had to elongate the bathroom by about, I think it was three centimeters, not even. So I've had to cut into that, which means I'll have to advance the wall, which means I'll have to shorten that, which means I've had to take out the dinette bench from here. Um, that will have to be shunted up as well, the three and a half centimetres, and then a new table, which is going in anyway, so that's not really a problem. I will have to just cut it to fit the, the slightly narrower gap between the two seats, of like three centimetres. So, um, But yeah, we are heading in the right direction. More later. Right, second half of the floor is painted, treated I should say, all cleaned down, uh, first wire wall, uh, not wire wall, I keep saying that, wire brushed, um, vacuumed out and everything, and it's been treated with a metal protecting paint, I ran out of the gold so I finished it in black, but hey ho, you ain't going to see it, so, right, now, I know just to recap, uh, shower goes in here, I'm going to have to sort out on this piece here, which lays flat there, where to drill for the waste trap um, yeah so insulation basically work out where the waste trap goes get this floor fitted today I want it in and fitted so it's all all in place Well, the steps have had their second coat of um, metal paint uh, and 
have to say, considering the state they were in before, uh, all seized up and everything, they've actually come out quite nicely. Uh, what I've got to do now is when they're dry, obviously I'll attach a new piece of something or other, some flooring or, or, or something waterproof sort of flooring on these two steps and then there'll be an aluminium sort of angle piece to go all the way around which I'll we'll screw it on and then um, I'll silicon underneath so that no water can get into the ingress into the back of the step again. Try and save any more water ingress really more than anything. The um, old aluminium strips are in a pretty sorry state and I had to literally grind them off uh, the bolts were that rusty so again what I'll do this time when I fit the bolts I'll use nylon thread and some copper uh, copper grease or whatever it's called to um, to hopefully prevent that happening again but these are all getting replaced as you can see on the top there's one two three four locating nuts which come down through the, the chassis of the vehicle underneath and then there'll be a washer and a, and a, a locking nut obviously to go on the bottom um, that if I take you over here sorry about making you all seasick <laughs> right there's one of the nuts there I'll clean that up with some some steel or wire wool no problem you can see this is is, is absolutely rotten but um, the beauty is it's not structural so I'll cut out as much of the rot as I can uh, and I will literally just um, fit another piece of aluminium plate or steel plate right over the whole thing. Um, so I'll protect what I can't cut out uh, and, that, and then seal it, all, seal it all up afterwards. So I've got the other three points, because I have obviously I've got this one, uh, but there's another one there, another one over here, another one here. Um, I'll need to re-drill those through come up here through the floor on those three points and then I'll cut a slightly larger hole to sink the head of the, the bolt which I'll drop down through uh, on those three and then the steps go on underneath and then the washers and nuts go on and then that will allow me to still have a flat surface inside so that's the plan anyway so I'm really pleased with um, how it's going hi a couple of updates for you uh, sorry about the state of me and the place, it's been dirty work, but there are a couple of things that uh, you might be interested in. I'm certainly happy about it. Yeah, firstly, the steps are in. The motor has to be connected, but, you know, one thing at a time. Um, secondly, the shower is fitted but not finally fitted. So, um, just to show you, it's all ringed up. That runs down through here, down into the old waste system. Um, and it is pretty much exactly where it needs to go. The base is just recessed ever so slightly so that I can put a bar of lights around there on a ribbon. LED ribbon. So, um, like I say, floor is all but ready to go in now. Like I say, I just wanted to make sure this was going exactly where it goes before I I, I, I screw this floor down and, and glue it down. Um, I can now put this wall back in, rebuild all these front walls. Uh, and good day's work, I reckon. Really happy. More later. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video, much appreciated. Um, don't forget to hit the like button, and of course if you'd like to follow my restoration, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well. Uh, in the meantime, safe RVing, safe journey, and see you soon.